Hello and welcome, my dear Pisces. This is Luna the Moon Tarot. So we'll be doing your monthly love reading for the month of January 2022. The card which is kept right in front of you is your sigil for the month of January, which says time to shine. Create the energetic resonance for golden opportunities. Whenever you think you're going for some important meeting or a date, you really want to impress or something, this is the sigil uh, on the left hand side that you should draw and keep on your workstation or in your pocket or just draw it on your arm somewhere, right? This is going to help you. All right, let's start with your love reading. This is for Pisces for the month of January 2022. What is going to happen in their life in the month of 2022? Getting to know each other as you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. Right, so I think you got connected with somebody, dear Pisces, in your recent past. And you are kind of investing time with each other. And uh, as in when you are spending time with each other, you are also getting to know each other quite well. And your bond is getting, you know, uh, better with due course of time, day by day, you know. So let's see what is it that you will feel towards your partner. What is it that you will feel in your love life in the first 10 days, middle 10 days and last 10 days of January. So I'll be pulling out cards, three cards for the first, middle and last 10 days of January. What is it that is going to happen or what you are going to feel in your love life in the month of January, right? Give me three cards for my dear Pisces here. Give me three cards for my dear Pisces here. What is it that they will, what is it? What is it? What is going to happen in their love life? This is for Pisces. Okay, I got three cards. Ten of Swords, the Hermit, and the Wheel. Okay, so I somehow feel, dear Pisces, that uh, in, at the bottom of the deck, I see Two of Pentacles and the King of Swords. I feel somehow you have been literally juggling with something or the other in your life. And... Uh, you know, you were trying to make a decision because at the bottom of the deck, I see King of Swords energy and Five of Cups. You have been hurt in past. You know, you have been hurt in past and you are carrying those wounds. You haven't healed those wounds yet, which has made you a little colder when it comes to love. That's what I feel. However, there is some kind of offer that came in and you were juggling in your recent past which one to choose and which direction to take. In the first 10 days of January, I see Ten of Swords energy wherein I feel that you have been hurt and betrayed quite many times and you feel lost and you're waiting for some direction to come in in your life. Probably there is some kind of uh, ending that you have seen with somebody and uh, you're kind of uh, ending a situation to move on to the second situation but the ending that has come in your life in the middle 10 days i feel that you are in your own self you are in solitude you're taking some time off and you are thinking about yourself your past life uh, your your life what it has been how it has been in in past and you've taken a closer look and you're trying to heal yourself you have disconnected yourself from the world and you're thinking about yourself right now you're not engaging in any conversation with anyone you just want to be left out you know you want your solace and solitude right now in the middle 10 days i think um in the last 10 days i see the wheel all of a sudden i feel that you are in a different kind of energy right and probably uh you know all of a sudden you are uh, all of a sudden you feel that you know my life is changing whatever was not required i have already uh, said no to it i have already left it behind and now my life is changing for good so whatever beginnings now uh you know the new beginnings are on the horizon and you are happy about it you are happy about it that you know um there are new beginnings that is coming up. So I think this card, this two of pentacles, I feel that you have actually decided to move on from your past person, right? Because of which you became queen of uh, king of swords because I see that you were in a lot of pain and anxiety. 
you know you were still contemplating in recent past right you were two of swords energy and then i see five of cups you were kind of uh you know you were stuck in your past and you became cold and again you feel that you know you need a direction in your life and whatever person that you are uh, getting to know right now you know it's 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 something that uh, you know uh right so they are two choices undoubtedly pisces they are two choices the first one you have already said no your past you are trying to heal from your past when you're going in that hermit mode and then the second person that you were juggling with all of a sudden you have realized that they you know you you know as and when that you have started knowing each other you have started liking them and that is when the old got resolved and the new thing started happening and your bond started deepening so this is what i feel is going to happen in the month of january that is the reason that you have been juggling twice see two of swords again contemplating and two of pentacles again contemplating i think you had two choices in your past one was your past person right and this is the recent person so you said goodbye to the person of because of which you were like all your past because of which you were feeling that stuck and cold and now you're welcoming the new person because of which you feel that your world is changing in the last 10 days of january dear pisces let's see what is your person's energy in the month of january this is for pisces give me three cards what is your person's energy in the month of january please what is your person's energy in your in the month of January, please? Your person's energy. All right. Seven of Cups. Your person definitely has choices in their life. I think the past person, you know, that you were dealing with, they had, uh, they were kind of uh, keeping you as an option here, right? And you were aware that they have choices, right? And then I see in the middle of uh, the month, the devil energy, probably they were obsessed with you or this relationship or they were using some kind of drug or they were using you for sex, I believe. They were using you for sex, that's all. And they had options, right? And that is why I feel you got that thing and that is why you ended it, right? At the last 10 days i feel there is some kind of breakthrough which is happening there is some kind of communication that uh, you guys will get involved in some kind of a uh, confrontation that uh, will happen right and uh, and you know things uh, there is definitely a new beginning in terms of uh, communication that is coming in probably you guys have decided to stay as friends you know rather than a relationship or probably you are telling them that whatever it is let's just end it and just stay as friends and uh, you are moving them on and probably they are also moving on but then there is some kind of new communication that has uh, started in between you both right a new communication that has started between you both and you feel free all of a sudden you feel free from this person whatever abuse uh, or probably uh, i feel that they were quite abusive in nature as well that can also be a possibility and you uh, because of that uh, choices options abuse and all these things you were feeling very stuck and uh, you became very cool towards love but then once you uh, you know once you decided to move on to second person um, you know you had a heart to heart conversation with this person and uh, you decided that probably you want to stay as friends but nothing more than that uh, uh, in, the, in the in your uh, you know in the past energy of your person I see ace of pentacles probably they were the one who started this communication and they uh, made you feel that this is going to be a very committed relationship or something which is going to turn out into something uh, concrete but then somehow even they felt a little they also felt a little betrayed 
and they were also dwelling in their past or the they were also stuck in their past that's what i feel and they were unable to commit to yourself or to you sorry they were also feeling uh, stuck in their past and they were unable to commit to you however they were very slow towards you when it came to uh, commitment i mean they are i mean they are very slow very slow when it comes to commitment so they are taking their own time and kind of uh, contemplating as well what to do here that's what i feel hence you are moving on because uh, there is a devil energy and all that stuff that i see that is also one of the reason that you are also moving on because you are unable to take the abusive nature the uh, psycho sociopath uh, uh you know nature of your of your person here right let's see what the what is the guidance that uh what is your guidance for the month of january here perfect timing i think uh you know you whatever decision and it's up to you so whatever decision that you have taken dear uh pisces it's perfect uh it's it's the perfect timing um that you have decided this thing you have not let this person get into your life more than you know and it is the right time that you guys are in a way parting ways with each other and uh, decided to move on to a second person this is perfect timing in the month of january so let's see what are the unsaid messages of your person in the month of january what is it that your person haven't told you and wants wish to tell you or probably there are things which they haven't told you and they have been hiding from you give me three cards this is for pisces from that person three messages for, for pisces from that person give me three messages please give me three messages this is for pisces from that person please three messages please from pisces okay I don't care when and how but we will be together give me some more time do you love me yeah so I somehow feel even this devilish energies can also be an obsession that they are obsessed with you you are my wish come true that's what they feel right I don't care when and how but I feel when you guys are parting ways you know they they somehow have this thing in their mind that they will be able to win you back again so probably they are not showing it right now they are playing it smart so they are just saying that you know probably by doing this thing and agreeing to you they will be able to buy some more time and they are asking you this question whether do you even love me or not right so that's about it dear Pisces. this is for the month of january so thank you so much any cross watchers please do like share subscribe to my channel uh, anyone who's looking for a reading i am open for a reading do hit me up on my instagram link is in the description below if it is not resonating if this reading is not resonating with you do check out your sun moon rising and venus sign as well so that's about it dear pisces pisces see you in the next video Bye bye